Hello and welcome to this ONDR Modreal video, Van Side Door Ajar Fix. If you've got a van and you're being annoyed by a warning symbol, a door open message continually on the readout, an alarm that bings for 10 minutes as you set off, and your van central locking won't work, this video could be useful to you. I'm going to show you with some very simple tools how to temporarily uh, fix your van without cutting any wires. Um, this this applies to the Nissan Interstar, the Renault Master, the Vauxhall, the Movano and Opel Movano models. Now the, the very simple um, tools you're going to need are a T30 torque screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver and a little bit of electrical tape. If you're interested in this video, take a look at our channel. There's lots more automotive stuff on there and we really would appreciate if you press the thumbs up. It really does make a difference. Okay, here's the theory behind what we're going to do. So there's a static sensor block on the van B pillar and there's a matching sprung or moving sensor block on the side door. Now the idea is there's some door sensing wiring that uh, connects with those two uh, connector blocks. Green, yellow, orange, white and brown wires. And as you close the door, it makes those connections and everything's great. However, uh, these vans suffer from misalignment of the door and B pillar damage and some of the connections can stop being made. And it's very difficult to realign them and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't always work. So what you can do is the white and the brown wire seem to be the door ajar circuit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can very simply without cutting any wires or making any permanent damage, join the white and the brown wires together and make that door jar circuit permanently on. Here's the practice then. So there's two plastic retaining clips on the B pillar uh, connector block or uh, connection block. You need your T30 Torx bit to undo those screws. You may use the narrow flat screwdriver just to uh, go into a slot there by the screw head to assist it coming out because the screws work against an actual sprung clip in a uh, plastic clip in the actual B pillar. Uh, you do the same for the upper plastic screw and the connector block should actually just pull off. Be careful not to break the clips. Uh, they are very brittle and your B pillar sensor block when removed should look something like this exposing the wires. Now, using the, floor, the small flat screwdriver, you can remove some very simple uh, spade connectors from the connector block. Um, and you need to disconnect the white wire. You can see the very simple uh, normal white spade connector there. And you take that white wire and basically put it into the, um, the housing of the brine wire, therefore making that connection. As you can see, there's no cutting of wires. Uh, this modification can be redone when you want to fix it properly. And just to make it um, semi-permanent, just add a little bit of insulation tape to hold those, those wires together to make sure the white wire doesn't come out of that, um, uh, that connection. The result is the side door jar circuit is now made. The messages are cleared. You can see how many miles the van's done and the other messages, the uh, you know the, the outside temperature, etc. There's no alarm when you set off, and the the locks actually now believe the uh, the side door is closed, so the central locking will work, albeit except the side door. If you've got a central locking problem with that, you the van will actually be secure except the side door. And then you simply reassemble it uh, with your T30 Torx, put the screws back on. Jobs are good and. You need to be careful um, that it, it isn't a permanent fix. Um, the side door could be ajar because you're not going to get a warning. And as I say, that, it, that door won't lock because um, the, it, it isn't working properly. So please be careful. Hope that's uh, useful to you. If you've got a van with a side door ajar warning, um, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more automotive videos.